Hey everyone, Brian here with Audio Plugin Deals. Once again, today we're going to check out Saga Acoustic Trailer Percussion from Red Room Audio. Before we get started, make sure you like and subscribe the video and turn on those notifications so you know when we upload new videos. Let's get to it. So the Saga Acoustic Trailer Percussion is a pretty large library. It's got 10 different NKI files, um, and we can go in and see real quickly what they are. We have orchestral ensembles, world ensembles, world soloists, oil drums, cymbals, gongs, anvils, metal sheets, silo booms, and various metals. What I really like about this library is the variety, the really nice sound, and the fact you can do some really cool dynamic rolls uh, using the mod wheel. So you'll play just a key and it'll do a, a drum roll, and then you can use the mod wheel to modulate that and make them any length that you want. So before we look at the interface a bit more, let's look at the demo track quickly using every single one of the NKF files and they're labeled right here so it's orchestral world so you can know which one's playing at which time so let's check it out So as you can tell from that demo, we have a really nice variety of sounds and they can get pretty epic, but they're also really nice and detailed. So we'll go into the orchestral and take a look at the interface. So we have the different drums mapped to the different keys. So when you hit it, it'll show right here what drum sample is actually being played. So using that roll with the mod wheel, that's what I was talking about earlier, um, we can modulate a roll. So we'll use this, not the snare, but a different drum. Uh, the mod wheel right here is doing the modulation there and then ending it off with a hit. So it'll go from a roll to a hit. Let's check that out all on the fly with the mod wheel. So it's really nice to use that. I also think I have some snare rolls here, which again, all controlled with the mod wheel. Um, so you can make those any length. It's really nice so you can kind of tailor fit them to your track instead of having a predetermined length of that roll, uh, which you'll have to align manually. So the orchestra, you have a nice variety there, nice snares, toms, bass drums, and everything. Let's go to the world uh, percussion section. So you got taiko ensembles. So a good idea is to use those rolls and then end it with a hit. So I use those again in this little section here. You can hear it right here, it sounds really nice. And then here's some little rolls. just really quickly and then with a hit at the end. Then we'll go into the world solo, which is the same instruments, just they're going to be more detailed, of course, just soloists instead of ensembles. I love the sound of frame drums. 
So here's the soloist uh, section. A bit more detailed. I started out a little bit quieter uh, so you can hear the dynamic layers as well. And again, we have the nice roll here. With a really quick uh, velocity curve there, or dynamic modulation for the dynamics. So it's a really quick uh, crescendo. But it sounds really nice, very natural. Then we'll go on to the oil drums. Uh, these I use more sparingly. We'll just load up all of these because with the world ones, there's a bunch of different um, instruments in the single NKI file. This we have more sp uh, specified uh, instruments. Oil drums, cymbals, gongs, anvils, metal sheets, silo booms, and some various metals. So we have a nice cymbal uh, crescendo here into the following section. So I'll isolate the uh, metal sheets there. Those are doing a, a kind of strange um, scraping along with the anvils. It just adds some nice atmosphere. Hear that little scrape sound. Then the silo boom is just this huge, massive sound. Absolutely huge. So combine that with the gong, um, the oil drums are just kind of very, you know, sharp, trebly. And then what I really like is the various metals here at the end. Just, you know, little tings and pangs and... I use the velocity really low to get that kind of detail. So let's just listen to the whole track again and just appreciate all the variety here. Again, this has been Saga Acoustic Trailer Percussion from Red Room Audio. It can be epic, it can be detailed. It's a really, really nicely recorded library. And I used no external reverb here. <laughs> 